Hello everyone, hope all is well and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of my favorite nude lipsticks as well as my favorite nude lip liners. I have a few formulas here that I go to constantly and these are the ones that really spoke to me. Um, ones that you've all seen many times before. And also if you want a tutorial on this look, it's gonna be up either Friday or Sunday, so keep an eye out for that. It's gonna be a very special video. So before we get into my favorite favorite nude lipsticks, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It would mean so much to me and let's get to it. So the first one I'm going to be talking about I think is my number one favorite and the formulation that I always gravitate towards the most and that is the M Cosmetics Infinite Lip Clouds. I have three right here that are my everyday favorite nude shades. I also have a few in more brighter shades. Let me know if you'd like to see a similar video maybe doing spring and summer favorite lipsticks so more vibrant more bold shades that might be a fun video as well. So here are the three shades swatched. The furthest one right here is Magic Hour. It's a nice peachy nude. And the center one is the one I'm actually wearing right now with a lip liner and the M Cosmetics gloss on top as well. Um, but it is the shade Rose Nude. It's a very wearable pink. And this one is Morning Mocha, which is my top from the brand and as well as my most used shade. Every day when I do a look, I always think about using this shade. It's so good. It's like, it's the perfect brown toned nude, but it has a little bit more of like a yellow undertone in there, so it's good for my skin tone. I love this formulation so, so much because it has more of a moussey, cloudy texture, hence the name of them, Infinite Lip Clouds. They're so nice and very lightweight on the lips, and they don't super dry down to the point that, that they make like a raisin effect on on your lips and they're very flattering. They don't over exaggerate the lip lines you have. They're just very plush feeling if that makes any sense. They're just so velvety and nice and they just feel so nice and softening on the lips. Even when I have very dry crusty lips, these still look amazing and they still feel nice and soft, which is very admirable and very rare for like a liquid lipstick formulation. I think this is one of my favorite discoveries in the last six months. I can't believe I've never used these. These have been around for a while and I, I'm really sad that I didn't discover these sooner because they have been such staples in my collection. I love them to bits and I highly, highly recommend. They're definitely at the top of my list. And the following ones I'm gonna be talking about aren't gonna be in any specific order. I love them all very much. The second formulation I'm going to be talking about is the Glossier Generation Gs. These are very unique as well. The thing I love the most about these is that it gives the appearance that it's actually your natural lip color. It's a very unique formula. And these are the updated version. They updated them around like a year and a half ago, I believe. Uh, I never tried the previous shade, so I have nothing to compare that to. I have three here that I wear the most often. I'll swatch them on my hand as well. So this more, oh my gosh, I'm dropping every single one. So this one right here is the shade Like, and it's a nice cool toned pink. The center one is the shade Cake, which is such a nice, um, more yellowy, peachy tone, which is very unique. It has kind of like a clementine -y tone to it as well. It's not super pinky peachy, if that makes sense. And then the last one is my most worn one, and that is the shade Leo. And I think that one is the most unique shade as well. I love it because it's such a nice neutral brown shade and it's it gives such a nice look to your lips. I really like this one. It's a very sheer formulation and they can be built up. This is just a few swipes, I think like three swipes each, but you can build it up to a little bit more than this or you can sheer it out even less than this if that's what you want. But I really adore this formulation. It has a very interesting texture. I don't even know how to describe it. It's definitely unlike any other lipstick formulations I've tried. I don't know what it is about it, but it really sticks out in my collection and I find that to be unique and the shades are absolutely stunning. So now for the next formulation, I'm gonna be talking about the Guerlain Kiss Kiss lipsticks. They do have a few shades that are only available in Canada. I think they added a few shades. One of my favorites out of this collection is Nude Flirt. It is so nice. This formulation in the black container has more of a satin sheer effect, which I am a big fan of. So it's just so beautiful. And I love this specific shade because you can wear it with almost any look. And even if your lips are super dry and crusty and you just add this on, it just smoothens everything out and just makes your lips look so nice and plump and juicy. I adore this formula. I'll swatch the other three shades I have. This is the shade 309 Nude Honey, which is a beautiful 
like dusty rose pink and then this one is the shade 308 nude lover and that one has more of like a peachiness but it's still quite pink a little bit more pigmented than the last pink and my last favorite right here is 306 very nude here i'm gonna swatch it horizontally which is really nice as well so these are all my favorite tones in this collection such a beautiful formulation and I highly recommend it. And the packaging is really, really cute. I love how unique that looks. Next, I wanted to include my favorite MAC lipstick. It's fun because in their last collection, the one with the see-through packaging, they repackaged this one and it so happened to be one of my all-time favorite MAC shades. And that is the shade Yash. This is one of the first shades I ever purchased from MAC a long, long time ago. I bought it with the shade Stone, Velvet Teddy, and some kind of, it was a very deep plum shade, super dark. I don't remember what the name was, but this was the one I wore all the time. I absolutely love this one and it's still a big staple in my collection. I just had to include my favorite MAC shade. How could I not? The MAC lipstick formula is such a classic, I had to. And honestly, they still have the best smelling lipsticks. I think because it's so nostalgic smelling, I don't know. But I really love this shade because it kind of suits all the looks as well, no matter what kind of vibe you're going for. It can pull a little pink, it can pull a little bit brown. It's just that perfect in-between shade and I love it so much. It's such a staple in my collection, so. Love it. Love it to bits. I have another liquid lipstick formula that I really love, and it is the Melt Cosmetics Liquid Set Lipstick in the shade Fuse, which is such a lovely nudie peachy tone. I really like this formulation because it's a very thin formula, but it's opaque once you swipe it on, like you don't have to do multiple layers. So that means it's very lightweight on the lips as well, which is really nice. And the Melt formula is very transfer proof. Um, the M Cosmetics ones do transfer a little bit, but I don't mind that. Like I don't, that's not a quality. Quality I super look in a liquid lipstick, but if that's something that you are looking for, I just wanted to mention it. I love this formula as well because it's very easy to wipe off. When I need to reapply my liquid lipsticks, I usually like to wipe the whole thing off and then reapply the whole thing so it doesn't get chunky or crispy or it doesn't flake or anything like that. I just apply a new fresh layer, so I really love how easy they are to remove just with a little bit of water, that's all you need. So I really like that about that because there's so many liquid lipsticks out there that it takes so much effort to remove at the end of the day and I despise that. I think it's such a pain in the ass and it's so rough on your lips, it's not good. So another lip formula that I love is the Nude Sticks Magnetic Lip Plush Paints. I have three more nude shades that I like. I have two other shades that I do really enjoy as well but are a little bit more bold, but I'm gonna just swatch them quickly here. So this shade right here, the more browny one, is the shade Bahama Mama. The middle one is Saint Tropez, and the last one, this one right here, is Waikiki Rose. I really love this formula because it looks very natural on your lips as well. It just looks like a, a lip tint without the staining properties, which I really like. So again, kind of like the Glossier ones, once they're applied, they kind of make it look like it's your natural lip color, which is really neat. And I do really enjoy this formula. It has like a very unique texture as well. They have like a really interesting slip to them. They kind of feel like what a silicone primer kind of feels like, but a little bit thinner, if that makes sense. But I really like it because it doesn't enhance any lip texture or anything. They don't dry down either, so they just feel very nourishing and hydrating on the lips. But they have a matte finish. So I think they're very unique as well, and they stand out in my collection. And I have an honorable mention here for lip shades specifically, but I don't really love the formula. And they are the Huda Beauty Matte Lipsticks. I have two shades here that I like to kind of customize with either a lip balm underneath to make it a little bit more comfortable or a gloss on top. These two shades though are so beautiful. They're kind of like 90s brown nude shades. So this shade right here is board meeting and this one right here is staycation. I find the formula to be a little bit dry and a little bit patchy if you just wear them alone. I just wanted to mention that just because I really love these shades but the formula kind of isn't fully there. So that's why it's an honorable mention. But now let's move on to my favorite lip liners. I have four here that I'm going to be talking about. Three of them are by MAC. Here are the swatches of each one here. The first one right here is Strip Down. The center one right here is Subculture. And this one right here is Oak. 
Oak is my favorite one for when I want more of like a natural lip look if I just want to wear like a clear gloss or something very see-through because it is my identical lip color. So it's perfect just to overline my lips a touch to make them look a little bit more plump for something very see-through. So I love wearing that one for that reason. And the one that I use the most is Strip Down this one right here just because it's such a unique shade that it almost goes with all lipsticks and it adds like a really nice warmth to your lips which is really nice and the middle one subculture is just a nice pinky version a similar thing it goes well with more pinky tones but those are my three favorite lip liners from mac and my last favorite lip liner is from pat mcgrath and it is in the shade contour and I love it to actually contour my lips as well. I'm wearing it right now just to kind of make my lips look a little bit more plump. It has more of like a cool tone effect to it. It's quite similar to Oak, just a different creamier formulation, which is really nice. The Pat McGrath formulation is unbeatable. It's so, so nice and luxurious, but this is my favorite shade that she offers because this is the one I use the most. But those are my four most used, most loved lip liners. And the same with all my nude lipsticks. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a huge thumbs up. It would help me out so much. I'll make sure to link all of these products in the description down below as always. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.